Hey guys, so I wanted to make a video. Uh, I've been seeing some talking on the forums for the new uh, JVC Laser Series about uh, some green fringing uh, on the lines and on the outside circles for this particular test pattern on Netflix. Um, it's a 4K pattern, 3840 by 2160, 23.9.76 frames per second. I'm running this through my NVIDIA Shield uh, to the Lum uh, to my Lumigen, which is outputting uh, to my JVC RS3100. Uh, so with my default settings, which is with uh, two things that I've noticed that affect this uh, fringing, and I don't really know what it all means, but hopefully uh, some of you who are smarter than I can chime in and we can get to the bottom of it. Um, but as you can see with my default settings, which is with E shift on and with pixel adjust on, you can see some green fringing. Now I've allowed my projector to warm up about uh, 40 minutes here. So the convergence has settled in and I'm gonna show you uh, quickly some things that I noticed in regards to the green fringing. So this is with E-Shift on in standard and pixel adjust set to on. If I turn the pixel adjust off, you'll notice that the green fringing, uh, it doesn't go away, but it definitely changes in the uh, outer circles. And then if you look at the bars across the center uh, with it off, they are quite green. And then when I turn them on, they go more to a brownish gray color. Uh, the diamond lines, I don't really see much of a difference between these two settings. Um, but that is what I'm seeing with this in regards to how it affects that color fringing. Now, when I go to the E shift, this is what I found particularly interesting. So uh, right now it's on and it's in standard mode uh, because I believe since it's an uh, SDR, it believes that this is a 1080p image and defaulted to standard. Uh, however, uh, I'm going to turn it to off and you will notice that the fringing uh, actually becomes quite a bit reduced, the, the color cast on the outer bands, and it's almost completely eliminated on the diamond line uh, that goes around the outside. Also, you'll notice the center bars. I'm going to toggle back and forth here. Uh, it goes from uh, kind of a greenish color uh, to very uh, neutral gray to maybe slightly warm colored gray when it is turned off. Um, now I'm going to turn that back on and I want to go through the different modes because I noticed that it actually affects the color quite a bit as well. Now on uh, the graphic mode, I just have that set to, I think five was what the standard was, uh, but I can't remember. Anyways, so let's go into high res one and you'll notice, uh, I'm gonna toggle back and forth between those, that there is a definite difference on the outer circles in regards to the color on the, uh, the green color. And it also affects the uh, center bars quite a bit, their color as well. Uh, so it goes from kind of a green color to now the more neutral gray. And then when we go to high res 2, the center bars become completely neutral gray and the green cast is almost completely gone at this point. Uh, now, let's see, I haven't messed with if I change the enhancement, whether that makes any difference or not. Um, it doesn't really seem to make a big deal either way when I did that. Oops, set it back to default. So I'm just going to leave this as is for now, which is, I've got it on high res 2, which is the lowest amount of fringing and the center bars look uh, the most neutral color gray. And I'm going to go and see if I turn off pixel adjust where that gets us. So now you may not or may not be able to see it on the video, but when I turn off the pixel adjust, 
uh, there is ever so slightly on the outside circles a reduction in the green color but it is still there um, so I'm not sure what's going on there as to what what the actual problem is that's causing that color cast um, for me I, I need I need to leave the pixel adjust on because the convergence um, is is not correct out of the box and uh, I actually do notice it from my seating distance um, so I'm gonna leave that on but uh, yeah so it seems that this all kinda boils down to these particular settings that I went through I don't oh I do have low latency mode on I'm not sure if there's any difference if I toggle that um, no no visual difference that I can see um, as far as the color cast is concerned I'm going to turn that back to on but the E shift definitely has a major effect on what is happening here so I'm going to set that back to I think high re res 2 would be no that's for 8k input I believe and high res 1 is for 4k input so high res 1 I think would technically be the correct setting but you can see I, I very much have the green cast on the outer circles and the center bars are more of a they've got a little bit of green mixed in there and they're a little bit warmer they're not very neutral high res 2 uh, everything kinda goes neutral and you've got the least amount of color cast on the outer circles so anyways uh, I'm gonna I'm going to leave the video at that, and uh, we'll see what you guys think about this. Thanks.